Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brandon. Look what I got in the mail today. I got myself a Fluval G3. Yay! Um, it did come in. I did buy three of the Tri-X cartridges for it. One of them is damaged. I'm going to have to send it back to Amazon, but that's alright. So let's open this bad boy and see what we got inside. Got a, a registry thing. I have a filter brush. Let's open this one first and see what's in that. Ah, oh, that looks like the hose. Oh, you silly hose. Oh yeah, instruction manual, the silicon gasket, and smooth hose. I am very happy to have the smooth hose over the uh, the ribbed hoses. I have a couple of the 306s, and it has the ribbed hose, and they're they're pretty good, but they still build up debris on the inside of the rings, and that kind of drives me nuts. That looks like a oh, that's a CD or DVD user manual. That's kind of cool. Put that there. Let's look at what's in this side. There's all sorts of treats. Ooh. So here's the fittings. The aqua stop. All the pipe fittings and everything else. That's going to be fun. And the Biomax. Looks like there's a large and a small. That's good. I like that. And now for the piece de resistance. The piece of. Shut up, Brandon. Ooh. It's all cold from being outside in a delivery van. That's nice. take off its nylon sock. I know you probably don't know what it is, but here it comes. Oh, there it is. Wee! -oo! This is the Fluval G3. I am so excited to have this, mainly for this feature right here. This opens up, and that is your cleaning right there. No, with the, um, ah, with the Fluval 306 and the, uh, other cartridge, uh, the canister filters, you have to take the entire thing out from under your fish tank, and that can be very tedious and heavy, and I'm kind of over it. So I'm only going to have to pull this thing out every once in a while when I need to replace the biomedia. Let's open this up even more. Actually, let me let me explain how these work as I kind of figure it out myself. Let's put these back in. If you can see, there's a notch right up here. And these have a notch in the top right corner that you can see right there. So that it can only go in one way and then it'll lock. This is your primer button. So once you have it all back together, that's your prime. And I'll do another video on setting it all up and everything like that because I think that'd be pretty cool. There's a couple people on YouTube that have made good ones, but I want to make one too, just because. This first filter, this is your pre-filter. This is um, for your larger debris. Debris. This whole thing comes apart. And this can be cleaned real easily with this filter brush. Um, the inside of here is your primer assembly. So that's pretty cool. With one um, silicon gasket right there. Second one here. This is your 
Now, which one is this? This is the Biomedia. So that's going to be these. And I actually went ahead and bought the Tri-X. These are the, um, these have everything. This is blah, 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 French. Mm -hmm. This does phosphate, nitrate, and carbon. And I definitely wanted the nitrate part of this because I want to keep my turtles as clean as possible. So that'll go into the bottom of this. A couple tabs, two arrows, one arrow. Pretty easy to figure out. You pull that out. There's already one in there. I believe it's just kind of a standard one. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I released the clips on the sides. Opens up very nicely, very smoothly. Oh, I'm so excited. On the bottom here is your pump assembly with your impellers and everything. These right here, don't touch these. These are titanium probes. These will show the salinity and uh, connectivity of the water and just shows you a little bit more information on the quality. So the little metal parts in there, don't touch those. The plastic, you could absolutely touch. Um, this top piece does not have a gasket. The gasket sits into the bottom of this. And this I'm going to set down. <clears throat> And here we have a inside cover, and then two media baskets for the three o or the, for the G three here. The G six, I believe, has three of these bad boys. Oh boy. So that's the bottom. It's quite lovely. Couple crisscross type shapes to keep water flow even at the bottom. I like that. These baskets are. Um, Oddly shaped, I assume, larger media, smaller media, but we'll see what the instructions say. They only go into the cradle one direction because of these little tabs on the sides. Then this bad boy goes right in. And my boy cat is scratching at the window because he wants in. So yeah, it looks amazing so far. I am going to get it all put together and kind of see how it goes. Looks like the first thing we want to do is with, with your cartridges, let's go ahead and rinse them. So the first one is the pre-filter, so let's pull that off again, slide that off. And I have a bucket of warm water here, just clean tap water, that I'm going to rinse everything first. So again, with this pre-filter, you twist it, and it comes out. So you don't want debris or packing foam or any of that nonsense to go with the thing. So everything included, you want to give a good rinse. And now, I need it. So, pre-filter is now rinsed nicely, and put it back together. There's little grooves on the side of here and here. Slides in and it clicks, makes a good connection, and then this twists into the bottom of the pre-tab. Kitten, you're not helping. All right. Now the media filter here has two clips. Push in to those clips. It comes off. Again, single arrow, and on the back, double arrows. So we're going to pull out the standard one here. Actually, if these things do open, I might take that crushed cartridge that I have and dump it into here because I assume this is just carbon. What I would do is rinse this, but I'm going to get one of my my Tri-X cartridges and rinse that one instead. And you want to rinse it till it's clear or the water runs out of it clear. Okay, I'm actually pretty impressed on how clean that this really was. So I think they already rinsed it quite a bit. Lovely. 
So the same thing with the top, we're just going to give it a quick rinse to make sure there's no styrofoam or debris or anything on it. flat edge and then a little tab. A little tab will rest into the little hole. I think that's it. That looks easy. Single arrow, double arrows, click click. That one's done. Awesome! We're doing good so far. Looks like the next step is to install the silicon gasket. So with the latches open Lift upwardly. Upwardly. There we go. Set that aside. You can set this down on a surface. That's what this long peg is for, is to keep those probes from being damaged. So that's kind of a good, brilliant idea. When pulling out this gasket, make sure that you don't rub the gasket on the staples holding this closed because you don't want to tear the gasket in any any way. So nice and easy. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. With this gasket there is no top and bottom. It is identical but when you put it in to the base here there is one north location basically. One little notch which is right there. So start with that probably be the easiest thing to do. There we go. Make sure she's all set in there, all happy-like. That's a nice, thick, good gasket. I'm pretty impressed by that, actually. Because one for the 306 and those series, it's pretty good, but when you set the entire lid down into the filter, the gasket, if it's not lubed properly, it'll twist upward and wedge itself, and it'll be very difficult to get in. So, lubing your gasket is a very, very important thing. So I have that. Let's see what's next. Okie dokie. Looks like the next thing is to pull the baskets out. So let's pull out this cover. And again, with the... G3, there's two baskets. With the G6, there are three. So, with our baskets, we are now going to add our uh, Biomax. I need scissors. <clears throat> the instruction state to put the small Biomax and the large Biomax all together. So, kind of mix it up. Now we have a mix of the large and small Biomax inside of here. But before we put it inside of the canister, we want to give it a rinse. I have a whole bucket of warm water here. Because there's quite a bit of uh, this Biomax powder. I'll give it a good rinse, shake her around a little bit so everything's evenly distributed. You're going to want to leave space at the top, make sure it's not overflowing because they will not fit together right. Alright. Now that these are rinsed and ready to go, place them back into the filter. Again, these um, edges here only allow for one direction for this whole thing to sit in. Put it in and make sure the handle is set all the way down. See, it's all nice and happy in there now. Lovely. Alright, let's rinse this bad boy off. 
Right now I'm just using tap water to keep everything nice. Um, when I do clean things, I do a nice hot bucket of water and use uh, vinegar to help clean everything. So with that back like that, and the biomedia underneath, let's go ahead and reassemble the lid. Put this straight down. You don't want to force anything, just nice and easy. Alright. So that's back together. Feels like we have a pretty good seal. So we will reinsert cartridges. We will attempt to reinsert the cartridges. There we go. And lock. And that's that part. Alright, this is the filter, or this is the tank I'm going to put the G3 onto. This is a 55 gallon tank. I currently do have a Fluval 306 on this tank. Actually, let me show you my setup currently. So I have inlet and outlet on the left side here. And underneath, there it is, the 306. I'm actually very impressed with this uh, with this filter. I just wanted something a little bit more to help with the turtles because they do have, you know, quite a bit more. Um, well, let's just say poop than other fish tanks and fish and everything. So what we're gonna want to do at this point is open up your box of goodies, pull out these two bad boys. These are the pieces that will sit on the back of the tank. I'm going to need these little suction cups. Let's set one down. Right. Kind of see what I'm doing here. There's two slots for these suction cups. One there and one there. And same with the other one here, and suction cup two. Now when you put these onto the tank, the side with the gray nut is going to go on the back of the tank. Pretty important to do that the right way. So here when I get all of this installed, I will pull out the 306 filter and everything. I just want something to run while I'm doing this. Okay, I took this one off installing the inlet system. There's this tube that's connected to this kind of swivel point and the end cap. And I'm kind of not really amazed with the quote-unquote telescopic system here. There's that piece and that piece that stick together and then they can be pushed to go s smaller or pulled to be longer, but I kind of still like it deeper in the tank. It's only going to sit that deep in my tank, which is what four inches higher than the bottom. I kind of wish it was a little longer. I'm sure I could figure something out and make it a little bit better. Also, here the out side, all they give me is a tube that can go either higher or lower, but that's that's as low as it could go right there. And my water level is a little bit lower considering I have a basking area for my turtles. So that's kind of annoying. I'm gonna have to work out something. They did put uh, two drip hoses with a solid end and an open end that you can put onto these little ball sockets and have the water kind of drip down like that, which I guess I'll kind of play with but not really sure yet. What I'm eventually gonna do is put the G3 
V3 inside of my cabinet here. I'm just going to show you kind of the basics of what's going on with it first. This is the aqua stop. Hoses in, out, and then there are two gaskets on here. Um, every couple months make sure these are lubed with a silicon oil or grease. Uh, don't use, please, please, please don't use uh, Vaseline because Vaseline may, makes rubber expand and once it does dry out from that point it contracts and it will tear itself so it's a bad thing to do. So this Aquastop goes in one way only. There's a little notch right here. Make sure your black lever is up. Put that in a little bit. I'll suck it down. Now that is completely sealed and good. You have your hose. You got your inlet and outlet. These are pretty easy. Just straight over the center and then tighten your tighten your nut a little bit and that makes a completely water seal connection and it basically goes nowhere. That's a, a, a very good um, update to the other aqua stop that they had in the 6 series. Alright, at this point I need to pull out the 306 to make room for my new filter. So I will unplug it, close the aqua stop, release the aqua stop, make sure it's clear and free. It does drip just a little bit, but that's just water right inside the end pieces here. So it's pretty good design. Pull all your cord out. Slide this bad boy out of there. Now I'm gonna take the hoses from the old filter and in empty them out and get them out of here. So this one has a locking ball in it so water can't be released so Pull that off first, put it on your towel. If you hold the aqua stop higher than the outlet of the hoses, you can open it up and it'll drain out the water. Try not to get water everywhere. I say try, but it happens. I do that a lot. Really not too too big a fan of these ribbed hoses because a lot of stuff gets caught in between the all the debris and everything and that bugs me a little bit. But it is what it is. It's still a great it's still a great filter. So I'll set that aside and let's put in the G3. Do not plug in your G3 yet, but go ahead and run your cord where you kind of need to. Always make sure you leave a drip loop just so if anything does drip, the water doesn't follow your electrical line to your electrical source. That would be very bad. That's so pretty. So, I'm going to put that guy right in the middle. Alright. Now, what we need to do is basically measure the hoses for your inlet and outlet. And then you will cut them to lengths, depending on how long we need here. So okay, do... instead of having the outlet on the left side, I have decided to put it on the right side here and pump wa uh, clean water into the top of my viquarium. This whole system um, really didn't do a lot of um, a lot of filtering for what we need it for. It was pretty good at the beginning, but 
mainly now it's just for looks. So this little pump was at the bottom, inside of this at the bottom, and it would take, um, it would create a vacuum basically in this part of the tank. So it would suck clean water from over here through these, which these are actually filters inside of there. So they would pass through those standard filters. Then all this would be clean water, and then it would pump into here and come out the waterfall area. It was good for a while, but what I'm going to do is have the G3 clean water pump through the top of this. It'll come out the waterfall, it'll come out the bottom, so all this is going to be completely clean water. Alright, for the Viquarium, this is the top lid. It usually is completely solid here. I took my Dremel and I opened up a notch of it. So, when I put this back together, this can feed directly into the top of it, and I think I did it big enough where I could use this outlet piece, maybe. Ooh. Get all that put together. <laughs> anyway, that's the theory so far. Okay. Finally got this all connected into the top of my Viquarium. So I did pull the pump out of that, so it's completely empty now. So I cut a hole in this with my Dremel. Um, I did connect the hoses, cut them to length so that it's not a lot hanging down. You don't want you don't want it to hang down too far or loop or anything because that's going to be much uh, wasted water pressure and water flow that you really need to keep good. This is the inlet side. It's nice and good, nice and tight. Hanging down inside the water. And behind it there, you can see the other one isn't hanging down, it just straight to the filter. So let's prime this thing and get rolling. So the first thing we need to do is with the AquaStop installed and both lines tight, now the bottom lines and the top lines are totally tight, we are ready to prime this thing. So go ahead and open the AquaStop with the silver lever. The AquaStop locks in the, or the, the flow control here locks in the AquaStop so you can't accidentally take that out or anything while it's on. The uh, little button here, I'm gonna push this a couple times. It's gonna create a vacuum in the system. You will hear the filter start filling with water. Come on. It totally is filling with water. Couldn't hear it at all. Yep. So it is currently filling itself. So it's going to be drawing some of the water from in here. So once the filter does get done, I'm going to have to put a little bit more water to top her off. Now we're going to wait until that is completely full. It should be a protective plastic on here. I'm just going to leave that on. Might as well. Well, he's pretty much done filling with water, I think. So let's plug her in and see what happens here. Oh, I suppose English. Um, enter. Yeah, flow on the outlet side it looks like. Still getting rid of bubbles and everything. Does that give us flow? Oh, we're working on it. There we go.
Oh yeah. All right, let me show you what the tank is looking like. Oh, my turtles are curious what's going on. Pardon the little bit of debris on the glass. With the bubbles there, kind of hard to keep it clean. We can see how the water is coming out of the viquarium there. It's quite nice. It's finally primed itself real good. Hi, hey, turtles. We have a Pelamedusa and an African side neck. And they are the only ones in this tank. They're lovely. But any hoozle. Let's go back down here. I'll show you kind of what's going on with this filter. Huh? Still working some bubbles out. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So that's a mechanical running days. Chemical running days and biological running weeks. So that's nice to have. Temperature 39 Fahrenheit. Um, these are the salinity or the connectivity items, which I'm not really sure what they are. Let's see what else we can find in here. Operating schedule. The last eight days temperature. That's kind of cool. Last 48 days of connectivity, flow, ooh, settings. Language, contrast, temperature scale, dim delay. Uh, yes. There's some cool things in there I'm going to have to play with and kind of see what the hell's going on. So that is the setup of the G3. Uh, very much enjoy this filter so far. I know I'm going to be using it a lot and I'll do more videos on how it goes. Thanks for watching and hit the old like and subscribe and I'll get you more videos. Later.